Hey guys, Padu1979 here. Just finished sharpening uh, my Alta 4 GK on the work sharp. And let me just show you guys something. Look at that little line right there, 15 degrees that I've put <laughs> the edge on. Yep, that crazy. I went that crazy with it, so. Guys, 15 degree on the Alta 4 GK. Uh, I'll show you guys, I just did the basic work sharp system. So I went with the white ceramic and I did clean the ceramic and I did go to town as much as I could with the ceramic. And let me just show you guys the type of mirror polish you can get just with the basic guys, uh, ceramic and the basic work sharp system. I did a little bit of cutting with it, so a little bit of gunk on the blade there. But guys, this is the cut type of mirror you can expect. It is kind of mirrorish. So let me show you guys the other side. And I'm trying to cut myself. That tip is just so nasty now. Just so nasty on that tip. And that thing is so friggin' sharp. Uh, you, can, you guys could see a little bit of mirroring there. So this is the basic system, but God, that tip is so freaking pointy. All right, guys, let me show you guys with some paper here. So this is the basic system, guys. You can get a mirror polish. It's not gonna be the ultimate mirror, but the basic system will give you a mirror polish. This is just the basic system, guys, so. Let me show something smaller here. You can see in detail the reflection there. You can read it so. So let's see all over the blade. Yeah guys, so you can see the mirror there. Try to match the angle there, so. Yeah guys, so you can get a mirror polish with the basic WorkSharp system. It's not gonna be like the ultimate nice mirror, but it's better than nothing. Guys, let me know in the comments, oops, let me know in the comments below if you want me to either finish it up with the PSA lapping film and go, go nuts on this shit and just put the ultimate mirror edge, or you want me to just show you guys the, uh, the edge uh, the apex of the edge on the basic system so i'm gonna leave that in a clamp there uh, i might just give it a few more uh, uh, piece of um, of uh, white ceramic just for hell just for the hell of it but uh guys let me know if you want to see the apex of the edge so if you want to see if there's any little shining pieces there uh let me know if you want me to go to town and just uh, you know, go up to 0.3 microns on the PSA lapping film uh, or, you know, what else you guys want to see. Like I said, I'm going to leave it in the clamp. Uh, I have to, you know, eat supper and do a couple of stuff, but I'm just going to leave that in the clamp, guys. And tomorrow, if I get a couple of messages and, you know, I want to see it under the microscope, I want to see you push the envelope with a PSA lapping film. Uh, I want to see a couple of more things, so... If you guys, uh, you know, put in the comment, you know, I'll do it. I'll just film a video and I just show you guys the update on it. But I just want to show you guys the steps and how much steel I removed. Look at that. Look, look how dark this is. I mean, you guys saw, man, how much steel I had to remove to go to 15 degrees. Because at the beginning, I was just taking off the marker and I, I was at 15 already because I did not under knife at 15. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to see if it's easy to remove steel. And, you know, uh, funny enough, I was removing steel and it was like, oh, damn, it's, it's not too hard to remove steel on the, that thing. This is kind of a SK-5 steel. And I said, it's not so bad. So, but guys, going towards the apex and just that little, very tiny edge. God damn, that took forever, especially on that tip here. So guys, this is just the normal edge and this is my edge. So I had to grind all the way up there. Ah, oh, look at that tip. That tip is just so freaking sharp. Whew, that's a good tip. That's what she said. 
Guys, this thing is just so crazy now. That thing is super sharp, guys. But I'm just gonna leave it like that. And you guys saw that you could put a basic mirror edge on the uh, basic workshop system, which is the 1000. And why I say basic mirror edge, because you can see the reflection, but it's not gonna be like super crazy shiny like you can put with the PSA lapping film. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want me to see. You wanna see it under a microscope for the Apex. You wanna see, what do you guys wanna see? Uh, you want me to go to town and just push that mirror edge to, to the ultimate that it can go with the uh, with the Ultra 4. So I know this is a working knife and this is kind of like stupid uh, what I just did. But you know, it's just for fun. So I just wanted, these, these things come with such a crappy edge from the factory. And uh, you guys, I got another one of these. So if you want to see the basic edge under the microscope and everything, I can do a comparison, my edge versus the basic, just standard edge. But because the other one, I just did use it a little bit. So it has some wear and tear on it. So it's won't, you won't be like the basic factory edge. This one was brand new. So I decided to reprofile it since it, it wasn't even sharp. I can run my hand on the, on the blade all day long and it wasn't doing anything, so. And the grind that they put on it is not a, even because I had to uh, take off more steel on one part than the other. So let me try to show you guys the tip here. Let me try to fit, make it focus. Oh, like that. You guys are gonna be able to see. So right now it's pretty even on both sides. So this is what's fun about a sharpening system like that, guys. This thing is even on both sides and it's just, it's easier to, to make it, you know, precise and to make it super sharp uh, by yourself, you know, without any other helping, without any other knowledge. You just have to know a little bit about sharpening and you're still gonna learn on this system. You're still gonna have some tips and stuff and you're still gonna need to learn, you know, how to feel for the burr and whoa. All right, don't put your finger there, don't. So you, you're still gonna need to feel for that bird there and just, um, you know, ju just look for, uh, for for a few things. So, but th that's all knowledge. If you don't know how to sharpen and you're getting this system for the first time, you're gonna learn. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Watch, watch some videos on YouTube. And once you get, you know, the basics and the stuff you need to do, uh, then you're gonna be able to go to town and put some crazy edges on there, so. Alright guys, so if you like this video, thumbs up is always appreciated. I'll catch you guys on the next one.